covering an area of around 40,000 square kilometers, this state is one of the 18 states of Sudan. It is divided into four districts, and today we take a closer look to an area north of the Kosti district, which lies on the west bank of the White Nile River. Welcome to Earth from Space. This false color image over part of Sudan's White Nile state was acquired by Copernicus Sentinel-2. It was processed in a way that also includes information from the near-infrared channel and shows vegetation in tones of red. This band combination is routinely used to monitor vegetation health. Although the area lies within an arid climatic region, Low vegetation covering the valley floors between the sand dunes can be seen in bright shades of red. Many agricultural plots can also be seen in red. Agriculture plays an important role in Sudan's economy. The country's main crops include cotton, peanuts, sesame and sugarcane. Several small villages can also be spotted in the image. Many of them are visible near artificial water reservoirs easily spotted with their rectangular shape, which are most likely utilized during the dry season. Owing to seasonal rainfall, many ephemeral bodies of water can be seen in shades of turquoise and blue. Flooding is common in Sudan in August and September. Starting in August 2021, when this image was acquired, a series of torrential downpours overwhelmed streams and rivers and unleashed floods in the area with the White Nile being one of the hardest hit areas. The Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission is based on a constellation of two identical satellites, each carrying a high-resolution camera that images Earth's surface in 13 spectral bands. The type of band combination used to process this image is commonly utilized to assess plant density and health, as plants reflect near-infrared and green light while absorbing red. Since they reflect more near-infrared than green, dense plant-covered land appears in bright red. 